Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in today to watch my video. Um, I thought I'd hop on for a fairly quick swatching video today. I've been holding on, <laughs> I bought these a little while ago and I've been holding on and holding on to actually use them until I did the swatching video and um, I thought uh, I need to really get it done so that I can actually use them in my um, work, in my art journaling and in my card making and everything else. Now these are the Artistry by Altenew Artist Squash. I previously had the um, the Jelly Cup Gouache from Himmy and I have got a couple of videos um, on my channel um, that I where I used them and I looked at them and they were okay but they just they weren't for me. I didn't like the fact that they were quite messy in that they you got quite a lot of overlap between the colours and I used them a few times and I put them away and I think I had them when the, the lids probably weren't as airtight and they dried out quite quickly. I tried to revive them but it was a really hard job to try and get them back and in the end I just gave up and I had to throw them away. They weren't even good enough to give to anybody else. So I thought, do I really want to carry on with gouache? I bought the um, Kiritaki Kansai Tambi but I, as much as I love them I still had this urge to try some gouache. Proper gosh, so I thought, I know, rather than getting the cups, I will get some in tubes. So I saw this set by Old and New, and it's not got your sort of, it's a curated set, I think they call it, where they've chosen the colours, and it's called Strolling Through New York. Um, actually, I'll put the lid back, because I'll show you the back, back of the packaging. So it, there's um, 12 tubes, they're 15 mil each, or 0.5 um, fluid ounces, and it says rich and vibrant set of 12 gouache paints. Um, they've been chosen for their versatility in painted variety of subject matter. Um, they Obviously they'll coordinate with Ultra New. I don't really have a lot of Ultra New products. So this, you know, I haven't got a specific um, bias towards Ultra New. I just liked the colour and I liked the way they were set out. Um, they are smooth, creamy, a dream to work with. And when they're dry, they are both matte and opaque. So they're a bit different to um, normal watercolours. And these are the colours here. And they have got, I don't know if you can see that. They have got the pigment information on there as well. If that is of interest to you, it, to be totally honest, it's not really of interest to me. I go by just whether I like the colours and how I, how they work and how what the consistency is. Um, because I do mostly art journaling, I'm not selling my work. But obviously, if you are somebody who is selling work, then that may be something that is... Of interest to you. Now I have already in my, I still don't know whether it's caddy or cardi, caddy I will say, 100% um, cotton rag watercolour sketchbook so to speak, already marked out the um, the colours of the gouache tubes and I've written the names and I've written the, the pigment information and I've done a black line to show how opaque they are and I also want to quickly show I've just I just have fallen in love with the idea of quill brushes I just love how they look so I've already I did buy one recently with, with from Jackson's art supplies this Roman Schmoll one because it was in uh, they had a sale on on like they had a promotion on, and I really loved it and it is I'm really enjoying using that so I got these ones these are art way and it says they're from Wiltshire in England. They came beautifully packaged in like a pouch and they were all wrapped up really, really nicely. But I wanted some bigger ones. So I thought I'd try this. I've washed out the, um, the sizing in them to make them nice and soft. And I also treated myself to a ceramic palette to use specifically with the gouache, but I can use it with all my other things. And I wanted one that had enough wells to put a bit of each colour and some mixing ones as well. So this is by Meaden. Um, so I'll link all these things in the... Um, description box um, underneath. Let's just take the lid off my water pot there. You can't see my water pot but it is definitely here um, and I will move it slightly. In fact I'm going to move this down a little bit. Mm, it's a bit tricky isn't it? Move these down a little bit and maybe move my water pot a little bit more into view so you can see. It's got, um, this is just one from the range um, so it wasn't very expensive at all, but it's got a, a side for your cleaning of your brush of your dirty water. Oh, there's a hair in there. That's probably come from one of these brushes. And then it's got the side for you to have as clean water. So here's the little, I say little, they're quite big-ish, aren't they? So 
oh they haven't got like a little foil thing or something so what I will do ooh, is just squeeze a little bit out so this is I, don't, I wanted tubes because I wanted to be able to do exactly this to squeeze a little bit out and not have to worry about it you know me wasting it I know that with these you can reactivate them but I wanted to be able to um They're quite thick. They are certainly thick and creamy. So, rather than watch me squeeze every single one out, I will pause you here and I'll come back when they're all squeezed. Right. Okay, so I have squeezed a little bit out. It's quite interesting because um, with this colour here, which I think is Lagoon, I've got like what looks like a bit of some sort of splitting maybe with whatever binders in there and then most of them were quite tricky to squeeze a little bit out and then I got to the Prussian blue and it just went whoosh. so that was obviously a lot softer and the I think it's the lavender came out quite easily as well but the rest I did have to actually give them quite a bit of work to um, get get them out of the tube but I suppose that goes with their thick and creamy consistency so I'm hoping that I have um, put enough of this in here. Now I'm going to, I'm not, I, to be totally honest, I, I don't really know what I'm doing with gouache. Um, so I'm going to wet my brush. I'm going to take a bit of the colour. This is mahogany red and I'm just going to start at the top and I'm just going to make my way down. And straight away actually, yeah, you can see how much thicker and more opaque they are. I don't want to go over the name of the colour. I'm not doing anything fancy schmancy <laughs> with my um, swatches. I just want you to be able to see the colour and then I'll play with them in another video and I'll um, make a project with them. So this one is ruby red. I'm going to presume, and I do really need to watch some more videos, that if I don't water them down so much, then I will get a much more opaque finish, uh, but that you can water them down it's well, showing that line quite through quite a lot. That's a lot less opaque than I thought it was going to be. But I'm I like to just play around with products and find out for myself quite often. Um, I think that that is your best way to learn how what to do and how to do that. So I'm really enjoying sort of like the more abstract sort of painting at the moment because it gives you a license to just play around with things you don't have to um sort of have a, a end destination in mind you're just playing so that one was coral red and this next one is baby pink so let's have a look at baby pink i have to say i love the colors there seems to be a lot of reds there was i often do find you sort of in every set you get one sort of color family that seems to have a lot more than others and in this one it maybe it's the reds and the pinks well i have to say that's only four well it's a third isn't it so a third of the 12 so all right let's go for the next one which is primary yellow so i'm loosening them up i don't want to sort i don't want to add too much water but i also do need to be able to spread them so although they are opaque they're possibly not as opaque as i thought they would be but Maybe that's user user error as opposed to what they are actually like. And the next one is pistachio green. Actually, this is so strange because there's not that many greens. And, and if you want to, I suppose you, you can mix your colours. So that one's a little bit more opaque, actually. So if you, you, know, you can always mix them. So... I always find that when I'm looking up at the camera, the um, yellow looks more orangey, but I, I don't know if that's just, you know, how it looks on the little screen. Right, this one is Lagoon. This was the one that seemed to have maybe split slightly. This is Lagoon Green. Just checking I've just put them in the right thing, because I suddenly realised that I did these in a very interesting sort of order. Oh, now that... That is a nice colour. I do like that. I always go anything that's going towards sort of like peacock feathers type um, 
colours is always going to be one of my favourites. My water is very, very cloudy. Right, let's go with this one. This is Misty Teal. I feel that I've probably watered some of these down a bit more than you would, but oops, splatted onto the yellow there. Never mind. I can put as much of that one out as I did some of the others. I think I really struggled to get that one out of the tube. Some of them came out easier than others. Right, next colour is, move that up a little bit, Primary Cyan. So I'm going to presume that Primary Cyan, Primary um, Yellow and Ruby Red are going to be a good sort of mixing sort of colours. To be honest, I'm, I'm not a big mixer. Why do I buy a lot of sets that are already curatable? And that's a lot more um, opaque, that one. My water is getting very dirty. Luckily, I haven't got many. Now, this one, I ended up with a lot of Prussian blue in the, in the um, well. So I may have to just afterwards get a page on, in one of my journals to just paint it out. Because I don't want to waste it although i can let it dry down in the palette can't i actually think about it trouble is that this palette the palette i bought um hasn't got a lid so it won't sort of keep it clean etc well, that's very opaque that one it's a very dark prussian blue i do love prussian blue it is one of my favorite colors i think the next one is ultraviolet so let's have a little look at this one. I have to say, I think I would have, well, I was just going to say I might have preferred another green and then just maybe one of the purples because you know, all them reds and, you know, we've got a few blues, I could have probably mixed. You know, I don't mind mixing basic colours. So. Go again that one again that's a very dark one that one isn't it and the final colour is lavender it's a nice colour oh it's very opaque as well much more on the some of these are quite sort of on much more on the pastel side My swatching is not uh, the prettiest, but hopefully it um, gets the job done. So if I, I don't know if I lift it, whether it'll be, I lift it towards the light, there we go. So we can see, have a little look at the, so obviously they're all wet at the moment, so they'll be slightly different. But when they dry, they should dry um, matte in their um, transparent <laughs> matte. No, that matte's not in transparency. Opaque is a transparent a matte rather than glossy. So at the moment, these, some of them look a little bit glossy, but they are still wet. But the ones that are drying are now, yeah, that has got a nice matte finish to it. I could, while I'm here, do a little bit. Let's just do a tiny bit of mixing and we'll mix on to and put some colours because I've got the, um, I'll do it here because as I've got the mixing well, so let's just do a couple of mixes. Let's mix up. What shall we mix? I don't want to mix the... Oh, we haven't got any oranges actually, have we? Let's try a bit of ruby red. I'm not going to squeeze any more out of the um, tube. As we haven't got an orange in the set, it'll be interesting to have a little go at mixing an orange. Mm. A bit more yellow in there. Not really a very. Let's have a little look on here. So, it is an orange, but well, I would have said more of a sort of peachy orange. Maybe if I tried a different. It's quite a cool red actually, isn't it? And that is a very warm yellow. So let's try it with. We'll try it with. Oh, 
a coral it says coral red i think coral red is more of a, a pink than a red but let's try and see what happens if we mix these two together this is the fun of paints isn't it yes yeah, so. think about when you when well i used to be a, a teacher a primary school teacher and a nursery teacher and, and children were just so um happy to mix things together they didn't worry about it you know <laughs> it may, may have had an interesting look to it quite often but they would quite happily mix away and not think anything of it they you know they just would do it it's very pale but it's a sort of a that's a more yellowy orange that one but i'm sure that if you had played around with it you'd get some different um sorts of colors and there you go so i'm going to leave that i'll take a picture of it uh, once it's all dried and then i can put that up at the end of this video so thank you very much i know it's a sort of a quite um basic video today but i just wanted to get those done so then i can get on with actually making something with them so uh hopefully in the next week or so i'll make a do a, a journal page using the gouache so thank you very ever so much for um watching today and if you enjoyed the video do please give it a like if you're not already subscribed hit that subscribe button and thank you and have a lovely rest of your day bye